Hey everybody, so today I'm going to do a quick look and review of this Bible from Thomas Nelson, and Thomas Nelson sent me this Bible for an honest review. This Bible is the NET Timeless Truths Bible, one faith handed down for all the saints. So, I already will tell you that I think that this is a great new Bible from Thomas Nelson. So let's take a look at it. So I got the hardback edition because I ordered the hardback edition. But once I saw the genuine leather, I wish I had ordered the genuine leather. But having said all that, this hardback edition is still a great edition. So, here's the desk cover. We see the infinity symbol on the cover. Timeless Truths Bible, one faith handed down for all the saints. And we take a look at the spine. We see the NET. That stands for New English Translation. Timeless Truths Bible. And there's the infinity symbol. And Thomas Nelson. And you have to remember that this is a hardback. So you're going to have white pages all the way around. No gold gilding at all. But you have two double-sided satin 3 8 inch ribbons. Thank you, Thomas Nelson, for putting two ribbons in this Bible. Now I do know if I got the genuine leather... I think the genuine leather has three ribbons, but that's okay. At least there are two ribbons in this Bible. Thank you, Thomas Nelson. So we're going to take a look at the back of the Bible. This is the back of the desk cover. Be anchored in faith, in the faith, in the faith, with timeless wisdom from the church's most trusted voices. You can pause that and read it if you want. There's some of the features that are included in this Bible. And I'll let you pause that and read it if you want. And we come down to the ISBN. Right there. You can see that it retails for about $50, $49.99. And there's the ISBN number. But I'm sure you could get it cheaper on Amazon or churchpublishers.com. Church, I'm sorry. Um... Christian Book Distributors or ChristianBook.com. That's it. So let's take a look at this Bible without the desk jacket, without the desk cover. And that is nice. I really like the cover of this hardback. And I really like the design. There's the infinity symbol. And the stamping of Timeless Truths Bible. And I like the spine of the hardback. And if you look at the back of the Bible, it is just plain except for, once again, the stamping of the ISBN number on the bottom right. If you know me by now, I don't like the stamping of the ISBN number on Bibles. So what is the purpose of this Bible and what does this Bible contain? This Bible contains the voices from church history from the early church fathers through the Protestant Reformation and beyond. So basically, the purpose of this Bible is to take you through history showing you the timeless truths. So let's take a look at the inside of this Bible. We open it up and it's just plain White, star ca card stock page, timeless truths presentation page. Then we have one title page. We have the second title page. And we have the ISBN. I'm sorry, we have the copyright page. And we can see right here is the first printing of 2023. And one bad thing about them, which is not really bad, but I just had one 
bad page cut. So when the Bible came, it came folded like this. So after the copyright page, we go right into the contents page. List of abbreviations to the reader. How to use this Bible. Why we should listen to the voices from church history. Explanatory notes. And the Old Testament title page. Again, with the inf infinity symbol. And we go right into Genesis. And one thing I like about this Bible is each book of the Bible comes with two pages of introduction notes. And it's laid out just like this. Each of the books of the Bible will have two pages with the layout like this. With the book title, upper right, but each book of the Bible will be two pages of introduction notes. Let me go right into the text. And you can see that it is a nine-point font. It is in paragraph form. This Bible has single column layout, as you can see, a single column. As I said, paragraph form. And it wasn't until someone mentioned it to me, but you could see very faint blue highlights in this Bible. Highlights up here and so on and so forth throughout the Bible. So throughout the pages of this Bible, you're going to have short blocks or blurbs, commentaries from the church fathers and voices from church history. And they will always be in the outer column of the text. And another good thing is, you can see that you're going to have ample space to write notes if you need to. And I think this is measures about two inches from the text block to the outer part of the page. And there will be some instances where you're going to have a full page with no notes or commentaries or blurbs. And so you're going to have a whole page to write notes. Let's take a look at Psalms. You can see, once again, that really nice two-page introduction. And you can see the layout of the poetry section, how we have here. Well, basically, the poetry section is in verse by verse, all throughout the poetry section. After the end of Malachi, after the end of the Old Testament, we go right into the New Testament. Again, with the infinity symbol, the New Testament. And there's Matthew, nice two-page introduction. And I'm going to show you that this Bible is a black letter Bible. It's not red letter. So going to Matthew chapter 5, there is Jesus' words in black, which is fine with me. I'm more of a black letter type of um, person than red letter. That's fine. After Revelation, we go right into Bibliography and Index. And basically, what this is, this is a way for us to look up a specific voice in al al alphabetical order. And here is an example. Let's go to Charles Spurgeon. So here's Charles Spurgeon. And as we will see, 
right here, Charles Spurgeon, all his, I guess, blurbs or his writings will come from either his morning and evening devotional or from his sermons in uh, from the Metropolitan Tabernacle. And they're not his complete sermon. They're just little little blurbs. And let's take an example. Let's go back up to Charles Spurgeon. And we're going to see, go to Genesis 9, 8 through 17 for the first one. And we will see Genesis 9, 8 through 17. And there is his blurb from Morning and Evening Devotional. That goes along with Genesis chapter 8, verse 17. If we go back to the bibliography, let's go to Exodus 10, verses 12 through 20. And this will be like a snippet from his uh, sermon from the Metropolitan Tabernacle. So we will see right here in Exodus chapter 10, verses 12 through 20, we have a short blurb from Charles Spurgeon's sermon right there. That goes along with Exodus chapter 10, verses 12 through 20. So, so this is how you use the bibliography and index. Then you come to the list of artwork, and there's 16 pages of artwork throughout this book, or throughout this Bible, and I'll show you that in a minute. Then you come to eight pages of Thomas Nelson maps, and after the eight pages of glossy Thomas Nelson maps, one cardstock page, and the end of the Bible. Now, what makes this Bible unique is this. Throughout this Bible, there will be lists of creed, well, not lists, but there will be um, segments of the creeds. So, not the full creed, but just little segments here and there. So, let's take a look. And I did not mark each one. Just a few of the ones that you might know right off the hand, right off the bat. But I have the Apostles' Creed right here. The Nicene Creed. Now remember, these are not the full creeds. These are just a little, little segment of the creed. The Heidelberg Confession. The Westminster Catechism. And then we come across little articles or biographies of some of the church fathers, like John Knox. There is another creed, London Baptist Confession. And another biography on D.L. Moody. So we have many of those throughout the Bible. As well as, which is very interesting, you're going to have 16 different colorful pages of artwork. So here's an example of one of the colorful pages of artwork. Right here.
So you're going to have 16 pages of artwork throughout the Bible. So that is my look and review of this Timeless Truths Bible. Do I recommend this Bible? Yes, I do. I recommend it. Highly recommend it. This is a great Bible for anyone and everyone. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video to be informative. God bless. Take care. Have a good day.